Hello folks, it's Satch here with day four, or soon to be day four, and part four, episode four of our Sim Airport Let's Play. Uh, if you remember, in part three we left off uh, on the verge of rolling into day four, which if we check our flight status again for tomorrow, is scheduled to be our busiest day, both in terms of passenger volume and the number of flights. Got a very busy day due tomorrow. And this is going to be a good uh, stress test for our airport to see if we can cope with uh, high volumes. should also be a big money spinner for us. We'll have to make sure we're getting our passengers to our airlines on time. So we don't have any delays. Because uh, obviously any delays we do have, especially if they're early in the morning, could start to impact the arrival and departure times of all our uh subsequent flights and that's gonna obviously just snowball and then we could be in big trouble and we'll start hitting uh, sorry we'll start missing our departure windows so it's a big day this one hopefully everything should go okay uh, but we shall see when the passengers start to arrive our first flight is scheduled for a 6am arrival time so as always, I'll expect to see our first passengers coming in around uh, somewhere between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. At the minute, we're at, uh, just approaching 2:30, so we've got a little time yet for the passengers uh, rolling. Uh, everything set up and ready to go. I hope we have three ticketing desks. We have two uh, security check uh, uh, processors. We have two gate agent desks at each gate and here we see our passengers are just starting to arrive for the uh, early morning flight our kiosk staff have also arrived at four o'clock in the morning so these will start uh, making a little bit of money for us in the early hours so this first flight uh, we just have 95 passengers and that's due to depart at 0745 hours we also have an arrival at 7.45, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Hopefully we'll get this one away a little bit early. And that shouldn't impact our Union Air flight. Okay, so here we go. Just slow it down a second. So, so far so good. These are boarding nicely. In fact, this plane's almost fully boarded. It's still got 53 minutes till it departs. Boarding has just started on the uh, Ford Air 5427 flight, and that is scheduled to depart at 0800 in 64 minutes. This one looks like it's going to be departing in advance, which is good. So it should depart in advance of the Union Air flight arrival. So we're just waiting for our last passenger to board here. And once he's on board, the uh, stairs should pull away. And that flight should be good to uh, depart. So that's the stairs being removed now. In the meantime, boarding is going well. The other flight, just another eight passengers. Sorry, 13 passengers to go. Just close that, sorry. Just highlight all the passengers, so... They're on the way through. This guy's still got plenty of time, still 43 minutes until it's scheduled departure time. And this uh, Pacific Airlines flight has started to pull away now and start into taxi. So yes, that's going to be well in advance of its scheduled departure time. And that should leave our airport nice, uh, sorry, our runway nice and clear for this incoming uh, Union Air flight here which is actually ahead of schedule so you just have to wait a second there while this uh, flight clears the runway meanwhile this flight is fully boarded and the stairway is being pulled off let's go ahead and increase our time now so our approval rating, well our passenger satisfaction rating has decreased to 
It looks like it's both a combination of the environment and hunger that's causing our issues there. Perhaps we need to get another retail store. Uh, another food kiosk, definitely. But we are struggling for space due to the narrow nature of this uh, terminal here. So we will have to expand this section downwards as we uh, spoke about last time around. And that will give us plenty of room for further shops which should uh, tackle our hunger issues. Other than that it's uh, environment at 64-65% and boredom is also relatively low in contrast with the, uh, the uh, other satisfaction criteria. He's just waiting for four more passengers to board who are in the security lines. So I guess these must have been late arrivals to the airport. So he's waiting on four passengers. There's one, two, three and four. So they're all in the airport. It looks like we're going to need uh, to improve our, sorry, expand on our security area, which we could probably afford to do. Let's just check the pricings here. So a check-in stand is $500. The bag scanner is 2400 The metal detector is 2800 So yes, we can uh, afford to increase the numbers of these, these equipment. Of course, that means we also have to take on more staff. But we can't afford to do that right now. However, when the next flight... No, oh, okay, we can. We can actually go into the negative. So that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get a queue line in place. I also want to expand these queue lines. Because the passengers are just uh, accumulating at the minute. So let's increase the speed until our workmen can get these um, new units installed. And then we can get a queue assigned here. What we're also going to do is assign all these just to the single queue line. Rather than having them assigned to all of the queue lines. Like so. Okay, so for some reason that's classed as two separate queues. Just close that down. Just go ahead and uh, try that expansion again. There we go. So they're all assigned to individual queue lines. check that none of our flights have been delayed ahead of schedule ahead of schedule yeah all ahead of schedule so that's all good but a late arrival which may have been caused by this plane's departure as long as we can get him out on time it should be okay What I don't understand is why the uh, guys in this line have their passports and boarding passes checked at this security desk then instead of using this bag scanner they go up and just overload these top two so that's a little bit strange but uh, oh well so the next thing I want to do is to actually uh, research VP of finance that costs twenty four and a half thousand, so we do need to wait for our money to build up before we do that. Let's just go ahead and uh, increase our speed a bit. So he's waiting on uh, eighteen passengers or so. Now all of them are through security at this point, which is good. Let's check this guy. 
And again, they're all they've all cleared secure. No, they haven't. In fact, there's got to be more somewhere. How many are you waiting for? Oh, not too many. Have we got a couple missing? No, 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 they're all, they're all accounted for. So we arrived 20 minutes late. I think it was that flight what was late in. Let's uh, just double check. Atlantic International at Gate A1, okay. So this one arrived nine minutes late, but he is departing 28 minutes ahead of schedule, so we made up for that little delay there. Hopefully that's not going to cost us too much in terms of airline satisfaction. So our next arrival is due at uh, midday. So we get a brief respite now for 30 minutes. Of course, there's no respite in the terminal. We're still very busy. The new stand has not made any money at all today, which is quite odd. However, the coffee and pizza kiosks are making decent revenue. So he's had a very quick turnaround. He's also going to be ahead of schedule. So, so far, it's been relatively smooth. Let's just check our flight status for tomorrow. Again, another busy day. But we've coped pretty well so far. The only thing we really want to look at doing is perhaps expanding the uh, terminal building itself outwards to give us more room for retail stores. But in terms of throughput and passengers, uh, we haven't had any flights delayed due to uh, passengers being caught up in any queues yet. Now, as like I did with the uh, security desks, I'm just going to have all of these ticket desks assigned to a single queue from now on. You're signed there, you're there, and you're there, that's excellent. So we're making good profit today, very good profit. So we've still got that loan outstanding. Our current Mac, we can borrow another 50,000 if we wanted to, but uh, at this point I don't want to do that. Rather, I just let the game play through for a couple of days. Of course, the money we're making off these numerous flights is uh, is quite substantial. And should start to see our uh, bank balance increasing pretty quickly over the next couple of days. If we have another day like this tomorrow, we should be very good. Still no uh, revenue on the new stand. So I'm actually go ahead and remove that. It's not making any money. No point keeping it there, I don't think. It's just uh, clogging up the terminal building. And space is still a premium. So how many flights do we have we made in today? Just the one, which is due in at uh, 2100 hours. He's due to depart, so uh, once this last flight arrives, that's our operations concluded for day four. And I do think it's been a, a successful uh, stress test of the airport. Handled the passenger volumes well. Uh, we've handled the flight volumes pretty well. We've only had, I think we just had the one delayed flight. He was early, he was early, he was... I'm just looking at the arrivals here, by the way. He was early, he was delayed. He was delayed by 23 minutes.
which may have been caused by this plane departing late. He missed one passenger. All the others got their full complement, which is good. But that was not, that's a two delayed flights so far. Everything else ran on time. Don't think we had any delayed departures, however. Came close on that one, but he was still on time. And this did very well on our departures, actually. Just the one flight missed one passenger. And if he's still in the airport somewhere, stuck. No, I can't see anybody who looks like they're stuck in the airport, so not sure what happened there. Let's see if we can uh, sell our income today. It was 57,000. That's dropped off from 97,000 on day three, but I do think that loan we took out is included in that. So if we minus that 50,000, that would have been an income of 47,000. So looking at that way, we've actually increased our income today by 10,000 pounds. Dollars, sorry. You must forgive me, I am uh, British, so when I think currency, I think pounds. And that concludes what I believe was a, by and large, a successful day couple of late arrivals but uh, that could have been caused by any number of reasons I believe I'm not sure what uh, what uh, depth this game goes to in terms of like exterior factors causing delays on your flights but after that successful day we'll uh, end this episode here and we'll pick it up on day five when our passengers arrive for our next day of flights and operations see how smoothly tomorrow goes and hopefully see this cash uh, our bank balance continue to grow to fund our planned airport expansion to allow room for extra retail stores so thank you for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the episode by all means leave uh, any comments that you have if you play this game yourself, if you have any uh, little tips or tricks or suggestions to improve uh, efficiency, I'd, I'm all ears and I would love to hear them. If you did like the video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the series so far, and if you've seen my other series, uh, Let's Play the Game of Railway Empire, and you've enjoyed those, then why not consider subscribing? I'll continue both playthroughs, both Sim Airport and Let's Play, and I do plan to expand into other titles as well. So hopefully there's something for to satisfy your uh, Let's Play strategy game needs. All that means to me to say at this point, guys, is thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated, and I shall hopefully see you in Episode 5. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye-bye.